What's up YouTube, Mr. Computer Andrews here with a new video for you guys today. I'm going to be showing you guys basically some tips and tricks on exporting a video, maybe some possible problems you could run into, and yeah. So let's get this started. So open up Premiere. Um, I could open this up. I'll open up in there, but I'll show you guys what I usually run at. I do a new project. I leave all this everything the same HD video or you could just use digital video if you want to I'm on a MacBook Pro so yes the Mercury playback engine does not the uh, the software still works on it which is actually very good and upgrading a RAM would be the best choice to improve playback quality and rendering speed anyways um, so you can choose where you want it to save to and then you put your title so I'll just call I'll go into YouTube I'll go test I'll choose this I'll choose uh, blah and okay now a second window will pop up <clears throat> and now depending on what camera you guys have I mean I highly doubt that if you guys We'll have a red camera, but I mean, if you have a red camera, you could do that. Uh, this thing works with pretty much all footage, and so yeah, this is about how this is how I run it usually. Um, anyways, I choose under HD uh video. I choose HDV 720p at 30 frames per second. You can name your sequence. I don't really care. Um, okay. Now it'll bring up a new window, or multiple window windows. Actually, what I'm going to do now is, right here at this point, for you guys, you would edit your video and all that. Uh, I'll do it. All right. Come on. Ignore that. So, what you want to do is go here to your, to find your videos that you want to import. So, uh, just go ahead and find any random video or whatever you want and if you're recording with a DSLR it's definitely possible that the audio channels on the DSLR are mono meaning that if you tried dragging this into here you'll notice the audio is way down here that's because the audio is mono so there is a way to fix this all you have to do is go uh, clip or s what's happening? Uh, clip modify audio channels, and then what you want to do is mono as stereo, and click OK. Now you're good. Uh, now now you can just simply drag it into here, or you could double click it into your source viewer. And set um, an in point and maybe an out point. Oh, by the way, put hit I and O and then hit comma to insert it and it's in there. Hit plus to zoom in on the key thing here. All right, now that you have finished your movie, oh, change the playback quality on this up here. I have it low because I don't know it's a laptop, and you can change it here. You just click on it so this box is highlighted. Right click. And playback resolution or and pause resolution next uh, let's say you are oh fade in fade out for volume uh, basically let's say you want to fade out so here's a keyframe you want to show show clip keyframes uh, oh first you want to unlink the audio now you click here and then you bring it all the way to the end and you add another keyframe and you bring this keyframe all the way down so now you got it fading out see it very nice fade out there you can always adjust this you can zoom in over here and then like move this around wherever you want it alright let's say that we're done with our project we don't want to do anything else, so now we go file, export media. This is, I'm going to be showing you guys the at the uh, basic settings. It you aren't 
you can't export 720p. What you have to do is you guys will be probably at QuickTime. But see, the output here, 720 by 480. If you want an HD video, I mean, if 720 by 480, if, if that's fine with you, then just export it like this. But if you like me, you want HD, go to H.264. Click. And then now we've got a whole bunch of other stuff. This is the output name where you can choose it, where you want it to output to, and whatever else. So I'll choose YouTube uh, and test save. Oh, yeah, you can also change the name up here. And now export video, export audio, filters. You don't want a gosh and blur. Uh, if you do, I guess you could do it. But uh, basic settings uh, is outputting as an MP4 video. This is where you could change what you want your video to be at. So I have mine set at 1280 by 720. Uh, you could bring it up to 1080. Uh, hold on. 1080 by 12. Oh, okay, we, well, we recorded with the DSLR, so it can't go higher. So, obviously, if you recorded with a, a full HD camera, then uh, then you can go up more. But we didn't, because the input audio is 720p. Anyways, uh, going to audio, it's compressed as an AAC form, bitrate 192, high-quality audio if you don't want it. You could change whatever, stereo. Put at 5.1 if you if you have something like a shotgun mic attached to your camera, and estimated file size. You can hit cube. I wouldn't. It brings up mi media encoder. Just hit export, and bam, you're done. You've exported 720p video. All right. So now you know how to export a 720p video. You can you know how to change it so it's Adobe Digital 5.1 surround sound. I just put Adobe in there because I don't know. Sounds cool, but it's 5.1 if you wanted to, if you recorded with a 5.1 uh, shotgun mic. Um, you know how to fix the problem with audio channels with it n putting them in a mono channel if you just want it to be close together how it should be with uh, video 1 and audio 1. So changing it, audio from mono to mono as stereo. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, rate, comment, subscribe.